Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Robo Coaster Tycoon. Uh, like I promised last time, we are going to get into building a wooden coaster right off the bat. I watched the last episode and I I apologize. Uh, it was not very exciting to watch. Um, we built the world's least exciting ride. Um, so sorry about that. But the music is nice, so that's good, right? All of our rides are doing okay. Everything's everything's good. Things are working for a change. That's nice. Okay, enough dilly dallying. Let's build this thing. Um, I don't really. I was looking at my park a little bit, and we got a lot of unused space. So I am considering using some of said space. And by some, I mean a lot. I want to make this thing sprawling, um, not condensed at all, just all over the place. It's going to be long, it's going to be expensive, but I owe it to you guys after the last episode, because yeah, that was um, tough to watch. <laughs> I don't know if you guys feel the same. Um, I want this to go straight quite a bit, so let me see if we're just going to line up. Nope, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. So my park is right here on that tile. So if I follow that back, let me just build that just so I can see it. So it's that one right there. So I need to back it off to here. So I'd remove two station and turn it, right? Right, okay. That tree's gotta go. And then we gotta add some station on the back end here. Perfect, okay. Um, I just did one too many. There we go. I might build this zoomed out just so I can kind of get a better view of what I'm doing here. Um, I'm planning on making this fairly long and I don't want it to be so high in the beginning that the momentum from the initial drop powers it through the rest of it because that's going to be a little excessive. Um, I'm going to build it decently high so we can get a good drop in, but I don't want it to be overwhelming because last wooden ride we did not so good as you guys remember or I hope you remember if not that's fine um it was somewhat forgettable so actually we're gonna go down one more so I can go back up here is that gonna be that's perfect So we'll go up to 18 from 22. That should be good. And then we'll... Uh, that's going to take me there. Nope, that's not going to be enough room. That's okay. We're just going to do some some weaving, some bobbing and weaving. Um, I don't think we've done a downhill at an angle here. It looks kind of strange because it's uh, right in line with, I guess... I don't know, we're used to building at angles, not straight on, uh, straight up and down or straight left and right. So it looks kind of strange to be honest. Like if you view it straight on, you can't really see that it's dipping down, which I think is a little strange, but it's okay. We will deal with it. It is just a cosmetic thing. Simple as that. Um, so I don't know. I want to end this back out into the lake. I know I mentioned I wanted to do some of that last time and I'm going to stick with that. So... Can I clear that? Yes, I can. And this is going to be really expensive. I think I've already spent almost four grand on this. So, yeah, not a cheap ride. But if we remember from last time, oh, perfect. That'll be tight, but we'll make it work. If we remember from last time we built this, the description is, or for this ride, is it's all about the drops. The ups, the downs. So we're going to try and do some of those. We'll do one more at 15. I don't even know if I'm, we're going to have enough power to do all this. But um, hopefully that's not too intense right there. We'll see though, won't we? Nope, we're going to go back up. And if I do this again, that's going to take me to... Not 15, to 14. That's good. Um, no, we'll do a... <clears throat> excuse me. 
we'll do I'm trying to keep the turns as wide as possible one to take up space because this is already somewhat of a monstrosity as far as uh, real estate goes I could build plenty of stuff inside of it but I don't think I'm going to need to because we have so much extra space then we know what to do with so again we're going to keep doing these ups and downs see if I can get level and clear the station again yeah, it looks like I'll be able to and we started at 14 there. We'll bring it back up to 14 again. And then drop it down nice and steep again. I know I said in the very beginning, am I able to do that? It's the... Nope. I'm not. That's okay. Can I do this? Oh, I totally can. Beautiful. I'm going to go up two here. Or actually came from 14. We're going to go up a little bit more than two. Oh my gosh, I can't see. 11? That should be okay. And then we'll... Actually, I like. I don't like building at these angles. I know I built at a lot, or built a lot of this ride at that angle. But when you're just scanning through the park, I think it looks kind of strange to see that. But So I'm going to try to avoid that. And time for our very first splash and so I mentioned last time I don't I'm gonna try to make it look good so if I lower the water which again very realistic you can sink it in and you can't really even tell that there's that little portion underneath it's very hard to see but it's there um, and so these these actually slow the ride down a decent amount. I don't remember quite how much, um, but I don't want to go. I don't know how much we'll be able to. How much speed we'll have. Uh, this ride could very well be a lot of trial and error. Um, I want to mirror this. I'm going to do another one right here. Um, it could be very much trial and error. If this goes horribly, I want to make it good. Um, I need to redeem myself from the. Uh, what did I call it? This thingy. The good sport. Because I don't know if anyone's even riding this anymore. Are they? 16 people in line? That's okay. Also, I'm just not realizing. You guys won't be able to tell. But my game volume right now is absurdly loud. I can barely hear myself talking. So if I sound any different than normal... If it sounds better, I'm, I'm glad. If I sound worse, I apologize. Because... It kind of is messing with me right now. So that's at height four. So at six, we should be fine to do some of this. Can we go over? Nope, we need to be one higher. That's okay. And again, I'm hoping we even have the momentum to do all this. Actually, I want that to go more over the middle. We'll go one at an angle, and right there, that should put us over the dead center. We'll do a dip. A little dip. Alright, and we need to end uh, back up on height 9. So we will go down again, and then we'll see if we can clear this path, which we can't. <laughs> That's okay. Can I start going down here? I can. That should work. And I'm going to put a chain there, just in case, um, if that gets us over the edge. Actually, we're going to do a couple of these, just so we have a little bit of momentum here at the end. I don't know if these are going to be necessary. It could be going a million miles an hour over this, for all I know. Um, but we're going to try to play it safe here. And I'm just realizing we didn't do an on-ride photo section. Shame on us. We will go back and revisit that here in a sec. I'm trying to do this without demolishing trees, but we're going to demolish trees. Oh, I need to go back one. Oh my goodness. All right, one more. And beautiful. Can we go down there? No, we gotta go straight one more and then drop down. And that is a complete circuit. All right, this is a monstrosity of a ride. 
um, it's, I mean, I've built bigger and I most certainly will build bigger in the future. Do not worry. This is my first kind of big, expansive ride, if you will. Um, I think the electric blue, I think is what we called it, um, was fairly large, but this definitely trumps it. So all right, we'll do the exit right here, demolish as few trees as possible. And um, before we finish, I wanted to add a photo section somewhere. Um, but where? I don't think it really matters where you put it. I think they'll buy it anyway. It doesn't have to be like a crazy exciting section of the ride or anything. I like to try and put them at exciting portions of the ride. I'm trying to scan right now for something. We'll actually, we'll back this off. Um, we'll level this out at 10, do an on-ride photo here. And then back up. Actually, yeah, that's good. Okay, let's test this sucker. See how awfully amazing or awfully awful this thing is. I'm going to be quiet so we can have some music while we do this. Enjoy. Hopefully this isn't horrible. guess um that wasn't awful i don't think uh it got really slow there at the end but it was also going pretty fast in this portion here um we'll have to see okay i'm pleased with that for as big of a ride as this is i am i'm more than happy with that um i was kind of expecting a very high intensity rating anytime i try to build something massive like this i get a little carried away and things also get a little carried away like my intensity rating there um but that's okay hopefully you guys enjoyed that song that was a new one uh also by part two productions a little uh houseier there than what we're used to then our little uh aileron aileron however you say that i need to ask him <laughs> but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this line is going to be kind of long but i'm digging it We'll go right there. That's perfect. And the exit will be almost just as long. Uh, this is the type of exit that warrants a do not enter sign, for sure. Because that's a lot of lot of path that... Um, let me see what we're working with here. We're going to lower that. And this might be the first case where it's an issue. Yeah, so you saw I lowered those four tiles right there. This one didn't get affected because there's a tree on it. You can't modify land with trees on it, so... Uh, we might demolish that tree and re redo it just to make that a little cleaner looking. Again, trying to demolish as few trees as possible and goodbye bench. Oh, and one thing I, I realized or noticed when I was watching uh, last video, anything that's in red text, I don't know why, but whenever I record it, you're seeing almost exactly what I'm seeing except for that red text for whatever reason. This text for you guys is super blurry, and this text is perfectly legible, and so is all of this. I don't know what's causing that, 
but something is causing it. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. There's not really much I can do. If anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know. I don't think any of you watching would really know, but if you do, and I don't know that you know, please let me know. That was a lot of no's. <laughs> sorry. Oh man, this thing is cool. I like it. We're going to give this thing some music. Uh, I know I haven't been doing much of that, but... Wild West style. Does that fit at all? Kinda. Little different from our house music, but... <laughs> okay, I kind of like that. Awesome. Okay, we're going to do... We're definitely doing full load on this on this thing. Uh, it's a how long is this thing? Minute forty six seconds. That's a pretty long, pretty long ride. Okay, let's get to painting and naming. Ooh, I already have a name in mind. That's the first time I've I think I've got a name prior to uh, painting it. That's a rare thing for me. This thing is popular, and we need to start charging money for it. Six eighty three, six dollars and eighty cents. That might be our best ride yet, as far as excitement goes. I think six forty was our our other one. Oh, you can see right there. I just upped the price. I guess these guys don't have enough money to ride it. No, they don't. So that's why they're backtracking through the line. So this is an expensive ride, but oh man. I'm happy with this, guys. I'm very happy with this ride. It's fun to build successful coasters because it's such a good feeling. I, I am proud of this right now. Um, I need to stop getting distracted. And we'll, $2 is fine for the on-ride photo. It's at a not-so-great spot. Uh, okay, back to uh, painting this thing. I like the color. It's very um, default. Um, I don't want default looking. I want cool looking this gray this gray work ooh gray does work I don't know if I like the no definitely not that what was that black what if I do black on the sides ooh that's very black and white here oh yeah I'm digging that that looks so cool Okay, and then our our trains, different color per train. They scream over that little bump. I thought I might not need those chains. I'm so glad I put them there. That is the perfect way to prevent accidents because they're not going fast enough to crash into anything. I'm singing along to music that I've never heard before, so yeah. That just happened, and sorry that sounded so awful. Um, we're going to change this real quick to leave if another train arrives, because the line is so long, it's taking people quite a while, quite a while to get there. Okay, so that track looks good. Different colors per train. I want to kind of do these... We'll do these blue and white. Train 2 will be a lighter blue and a white... And train three will be that kind of turquoise. Or how did this? How does this look? Where are those trains? So that's the first one. That would make our third one arriving right now. I like that. And I have a name for this baby. And purely because of this bit right here, it's getting named the Soggy Log. <laughs> It's not the most appealing name, I realize that, but it's a wood ride, and they're going through the water. It would probably get soggy after a little while, right? Even if that's not the case, it's it's the soggy log. It's done, guys. Um, I wonder if hiring an entertainer would bring more people to this area of my park. I want more people in this portion by my exciting rides, the ones where they can spend money have a good time at. We'll hire another one for this other portion here. Uh, we'll make him not a panda. And we'll cover that covers this, I believe. 
the Wicked Waterfront. Which, all my rides are, they're still doing well, it looks like. It's just, people are so spread out, everyone's riding rides. But hopefully that entertainer helps a little bit. Uh, let's get another mechanic. You, sir, get to work on my pride and joy. That is the soggy log. Um, we'll hire another handyman just for this area. Just for the exit, because I'm assuming people are going to hurl a little bit. Um, and they're actually going to get their own private restroom. Just because that's how fancy we are here at Leafy Lake. They get their own restroom for riding this ride. Um, we're going to do VIPs only. That's not the name of it. It doesn't appear anywhere. But we'll know it's for VIPs only. So anyone who is very important enough to ride this ride gets to use the very important restroom. Or puke right outside on the ground. Right there. Either way, it's there if they want it. Aw, yay. We got another word for being the safest. Yeah, so it's times like this where sometimes I... And I might start doing this in the future once I get better or more reacquainted with this game. But having three trains, seven cars per train, it almost always... Actually, we're going to wait for... Three-quarter load. I'd rather have a longer line. I don't know why. It just feels more satisfying to me to have people in line just waiting because it, it's a visual sign that the ride is doing well. I don't ever watch the rides uh, consistently, um, at least not enough to where I can tell how well it's doing. But is that a bench right there? Yes, it is. Okay, and like I said, I want to fix this fix this tree. I'm not, not digging it. And that was one of our pine trees, I think. Which are... These ones? These ones? These ones? These ones. If that's wrong... Nope, I'm right. Not the first time that'll happen. And hopefully not the last. <laughs> okay, we're in June. June what? June 7th? Okay, we got one more month in this episode. I keep spinning my view instead of zooming out. Ooh, this is a fun ride. We don't have time to build this episode, but we'll definitely be getting to that soon. Hopefully in this park. I am not going to promise anything, but... Okay, what else do we have? That's what that's what we just got, the wooden crazy roller coaster. I'll go over how that thing works right before we build it. Um... We're actually going to build the chairlift. Uh, it's not really a ride. It's a it's a transport. It's a means of transportation. Um, but we're going to try to get people into that area of the park. It's not been super successful so far. Uh, we can actually build the station all the way back up right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks good. And these are simply... They go bi-directional. Uh, you can see at the end here, there's... Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. It is spinning out of control right now. Listen to the music. <laughs> control failure. <laughs> I think it can explode if that goes on long enough without getting fixed. But that is its normal speed. Anyway, that was funny. Back to this thing. I forgot to read the description again. Chairlift. Construction. Cars hang from a steel cable which runs continuously from one end of the chairlift to the other and around large turnaround wheels at each end. Um, so it'll come down this side. They'll get off. It'll loop back around. People get on and then they will depart. Um, so these are, these are cool. Um, they're not super fun. There's nothing crazy you can do with them. It's a transport ride. Um, and you can... Just do inclines all day long. Um, it's all cable based. And it looks like it only puts a cable whenever you do like a turn or something. So we'll do another one right here just to make it look structurally sound. I don't know where I'm putting the station quite yet. Should probably figure that out, huh? Um, 
Okay, I, I see where it's going. Is that over the middle? Looks like it. I don't need to level this off at six. And, oh, I'm trying to think where this can go. I had it in mind, but it's very much in the way of where I wanted it. Um, that's okay. We'll back off. We'll level it out at eight. And we'll continue it over here. I think it can still suspend over all this stuff. Yes, it can. We'll turn it. That doesn't look realistic in the slightest. I'm, I'm a fan of realism in this game. So when it looks super unrealistic, I'm demolishing it. Oh, that's a lot of turns. And this is going to be in our way. Yup. Man, this is a... Uh... Okay, we'll do this. Not what I... Nope, not that. Not what I had envisioned, but that's okay. You gotta be flexible sometimes and change your plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's perfect, and it just clears that, so it passes the realism check in my book. Um, and this needs an entrance and an exit on both sides, actually. So we'll do the entrance here, exit there. And you see it didn't X out of this uh, because we have to build two. So we'll do this one right there and the exit can go right here. Awesome. We'll test that once just to get some to the other platform because I believe they all start at one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. What am I doing? I can just check this, 12 cars. So we'll let six go. That's three. Four. In the meantime, we can build some pathways. That's four, five, and I say in the meantime, but that happened quick enough. We didn't really, we weren't able to. Uh, this is difficult to build off of. You can see it was starting to try to build it underwater there, which I clearly didn't want to happen. Um, this isn't going to be crazy. I don't think it'll be super popular. I'm just trying to get people to a different area of my park. So... And it's something that I can build in a month in-game. So let's go ahead and open that. Money. Don't know yet. And you can actually adjust the speed, I believe. And that changes. So what's the max? Nine? That's a little too fast, I think. I kind of want it to be somewhat scenic. We'll do four. It's not a super long ride. And again, it's just to get people from one side to the other. They still treat it as a ride. Uh, no one goes on this purely because they need transportation. Dang it. Can I go down? Oh, of course. This has got to close. If it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> Alright, we'll make this level with the, the ground here. And again, don't want to make this... Nope. Okay, that's fine. Go this way and up. Perfect. Okay, now we can open it. And all that work of testing it to get them to the other platform was for naught. Luckily, this guy's bold enough to go on it by himself. Without knowing how exciting it is or dangerous. Um, we will paint this. I like the white. I'm not crazy about this brown here. Does black look good? No, it's too similar to... Actually, no, too similar. We'll do that purple. I kind of like that. All in the same colors is fine. I don't really want to take the time to adjust everything. Black cars with purple seats? Does that look okay? I think so. Let me know if you guys disagree, as always, but I think that looks good. Um, Ferry something. It's taking people from one side of the lake to the other. Um, fairy. Fairy godmother. Done. It's happening. Welcome to the fairy godmother. Where it will magically take you from one side to the other. <laughs> that was a very spontaneous name. 
monorail. That's another transport item. Um, there's just different ones. They all have their different pros and cons. Railroads, I think, are one of my favorite to build, but it doesn't really matter. Where does this guy get off at? Does he get off at the far end? No, where are they? Oh, they get off right there. Okay. So I think this has to make one complete rotation for it to, um, or one complete circuit to get test results. So we will look at that when we get back next time. I don't want to take the time to wait for that. But I hope you guys enjoy, or enjoyed, and are enjoying this music for the Soggy Log. I think it was pretty successful. I am happy with how this thing came out. It's a, it's a, a landmark for this park. It's our big epic ride that sprawls out into the, into the far reaches of the park and then winds back around and dips in, becomes a focal point. Everyone can see it. They want to ride it. Although not everyone wants to ride it, but you know, set 16 out of almost 900 people want to ride it. But hey, you know, who am I to judge, right? Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. When we come back next time, I don't have the slightest clue what we're going to do, but I'll figure it out before then. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I'll see you guys next time. And until then, stay beautiful. Stay beautiful.